We are. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning, Inger. I just met up me and Robert, and Robert said, what are we going to talk about today? And I said, this time I know, because usually I never get things on beforehand, and that is for a purpose, and that is because my mind is not going to interfere with what comes true. Yeah. Because if the humans get the things on beforehand, they immediately start spinning and thinking around it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so, uh, but this time I got it two minutes ago. Okay. And uh, uh, they said, you're going to work on the, um, rewriting the history. Okay. And I find that a tremendous, interesting subject, simply because uh, much of this has to do with our mental mind. Yeah. And how the mental mind wants to keep things going on in a loop. So I'm lucky in that way that I've been allowed to traveling around the world with people like Samir Osmanagovic, who is the one who discovered uh, the Bosnian pyramids, who talks a lot about how we have to rewrite our history and also take people around on different journeys to really show them. Uh, and this is something we are on the edge of as humanity right now. Yeah. Uh, because we have come so far that we are shifting our vibration tremendously, which means that our old experience of the history will change. Mm -hmm. Our truth always change when our vibration change. Yeah. And we are right there right now. We're not only a few of us yeah. knows and understand that history isn't necessarily as it's presented to us. But we are at a place where the entire world, the history books, everything, the teaching in the school needs to be rewritten. rewritten. Yeah. And in order for that to happen, uh, our mental mind needs to change it the way it works, uh, simply because we cannot stay in a safe space. Mm. Because the new truth always will move things within us. And we have to be allowing and kind of soft and welcoming of those truths. Okay. But, but yeah. for me, it, it's, a, it's a super topic, of course. And uh, for me, it, uh, it, it attaches to the thought yeah. that our mind capacity, the ability of understanding needs to mm -hmm. shift and it needs to be broadened. So, yeah. uh, we got the brains, we got everything, but we there's a layer which holds it back, so that we because if we understood it all before, it was we would we become crazy probably. <laughs> and uh, now we now we're getting in a time that there's more space for uh, this this further remembrance yeah. and the further remembrance and and I. I Shall I start? Because I can feel already something coming. Yeah, I feel it too. I'm just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's and it's in the part just below the heart, just above mm -hmm. the solar plexus. So it's in, mm -hmm. in, in the intermediate part. And it feels like Souls of the heart. Just have a few seconds to integrate that.
but I immediately felt that I was drawn into a bigger collective field. <clears throat> and I felt that you, you hit exactly the, the correct spot because when we change our perception or reality, there is a part of us that gets afraid because it feels like our entire world is falling apart. Everything we have believed in, everything we have been thought, everything that has made up our world shows up to be an illusion or for some it, they even feel it's a big lie, it's a big hoax, right? And that was so strong in the solar plexus. I felt how the energy started to vibrate and kind of knock loose hardcore belief systems. Almost like people are walking uh, like this, refusing to see the bigger truth, even if it is, is so obvious in front of their eyes. And, and daring to, to, to open and expand the space to allow different things in. And for the humanist, humans to really understand that I mean, change it doesn't need to be bad. Yeah. Even though something yeah. falls away, what happens is that, yeah, it might feel painful. But that's the but, experience. But, yeah, but the thing is, uh, and that's when you brought in the heart energy, the uh, thing is that if we receive it, it kind of gives us opportunity for a bigger and better reality. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we all kind of are seeking. Um, let me bring in the, the cosmic, uh, the galaxy what they're saying is that there is such a kind of almost like a pressure from all the new realities or uh, I don't really like to call it dimension, but maybe that will help someone understand. Yeah. Uh, there's a new reality that actually is coming down, a bigger one, a more galactic one, a more universal one and it needs a place to land within us mm -hmm. and if we keep holding on to that all reality and our all way of seeing things and believing that things are there is no way for these seeds to land within us yeah yeah clear i also and, uh, yeah there is so much energy. I just feel like I'm sitting in a crystal right now. The huge field of crystalline energy that is kind of coming into sea. Yeah, I feel you have something. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's something uh, <sighs> we need also to speak out the old belief systems. So, yeah. so let's do that. Help that in the frequencies. Mm. <laughs> I felt again that energy kind of went into this area and kind of shattered a whole layer mm -hmm. of, of uh, all belief systems, uh, which also have to do with sound and language because our language is kind of a trap yeah. if you don't yeah. if you don't really look at it, you know, because we are so used to repeating the same phrases again and again, we use the same words and blah, blah, blah. And sometimes we also feel, especially like we can do now that we don't really have the words to fully express mm -hmm. what is taking place. So we, we, we keep in a kind of a narrow uh, uh, energy in this area. And suddenly it was, it felt like it kind of cracked open. Mm -hmm. 
and say, yes, uh, there is a way to express it. And it is to get used to expressing the feelings freely yeah. in a much broader way than we are used to. Because as the waves thins between beings, what is also taking place is that we start to listen more with our feelings yeah. and not exactly just to the words. So it was uh, really, really beautiful to uh, for that clearing to, to come true. Also because that I feel a lot of beings have uh, or are at the brink of really awakening to accepting this greater reality and that allowing it into their reality, start to live it or seek it. Mm -hmm. And kind of many also have started to demand that the children shall learn different things in school, that rewrite or your history book and all this stuff, because we don't want to be thought these lies anymore. Yeah. I mean, I can look at my grandchildren's school books and they are they have to learn things that already are proven as a so-called untruth, right. just because it stands there, you know? And what does that do to a person's belief system? And what does it do to their mental field? And we have to kind of dismantle all these energies uh, to, to bring in something. Let me see if I can find something universal to see it into that area. The energy I got was kind of a surprise for me because the picture I got of it uh, I think most of us are familiar with the uh, pictures from the Great Pyramid with Akhenaten and Nefertiti and this like the sun and all the beams coming. Yeah, it was that picture. It was like a huge new um, central sun or great central sun or whatever to call it that had started to send down beams uh, to see and each beam kind of helped information and codes in a different area that needs to be ignited and made aware, activated within so that there is a foundation for a bigger understanding of the codes and energies that are now being received. That sounds precisely in relation with what I felt because I feel that there's something to be cleared or opened over here and also in the lower chakras, the Hara should be worked on. Yeah. Uh, shall I try to do it? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. I love that energy because it took me directly into pockets of what I call hidden emotions. And pocket of hidden emotions is what we find a lot in our heart energy and also in our uh, sacral uh, chakra. Uh, because deep within we know that 
when our feelings are allowed to completely flow freely. There is nothing, none whatsoever, that stopped us from being a full-time conscious creator. And we have been thought again and again and again, don't do this, don't do that. And what do we do every time? We contract and we held all those, hold all those uh, emotions inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, especially in Europe, we are very, very kind of restricted when it comes to uh, showing our feelings and speaking our truth. Yeah. And if we do it, we don't do it until we reach a level where we like kind of explode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I felt there was a huge opening. And in that opening, again, came those energies. Uh, so when uh, it was like, the information for the body was it's safe to open and let these feelings go. And in order to let them go, we need to feel them. And it's safe to feel them mm -hmm. because there's nothing bad about them. In no way, no matter what, there isn't anything bad about any emotion, about any feeling. Yeah. It's just a reaction, a response to an experience that is meant to flow freely through. And especially for the Hara, I felt there was a huge uh, level of uh, denial of one's uh, creator ability mm -hmm. that basically was kind of opened uh, uh, to, to, or the stock emotion that prevent you yeah. from, from, uh, from uh, creating that kind of a step through. And there was also something interesting in it uh, that we probably have to look a little bit into. And that is, uh, there was like almost being forced into, consciously or not, yeah. making promises of not using, not allowing that energy to flow. Almost like an out or a promise or, or a vow or something. Um, so instead of allowing that to flow and to create what we are meant to create, it kind of Every time the energy comes back, it's kind of starts to create. And you can see it in so many people because in the moment they get into that position, what happened? They get stomach pain. Mm -hmm. They hold back and they get stomach pain, you know? Let me see. I'm going to try to see if I can... Uh, There's a deep, deep um, collective sadness that I pick up on in, in that area. Mm. Did I get it right when you said there was an old file that stops the emotions flowing? And when it comes. Yeah, and that's connected to that to that collective sadness. Yeah, so, I feel it is there. Yeah, so let let me point point the energy towards that. So to, yes. to, to release the old file to to let the emotions flow, and the collective yeah. sadness around that connect, connected to this tiny kokoshni ko torni ma ya ni na yo mornya o na ni na o e ai no o no na yo no rain no 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 na ni no 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 no
に記憶を教えてあなたなんだっけ。That was very, very strong, and I really felt that it, it was like chains, you know,、yeah. chain, uh, around、um, the lower chakra. Lower chakra、um, area that kind of broke. And as it broke, it was like pockets of light starting to shine out. If you have like a cloth and you pinch a, li- a lot of holes in it, and suddenly there was a lot of, of,、uh, of uh, light beams that started to, to shine through.、Uh, this is actually something. I think many will have good use of、mm. because unconsciously, I felt this was kind of very unconscious,、yeah. this level. And, and、uh, we have so many automatic、uh, ways of dealing with this. We kind of do things without thinking, it just happened automatically. Yeah. So, yeah. What did you feel? I had just focused on my energy to, to be there, and, <laughs> and I felt it was really powerful. <laughs> it, it was very powerful. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, uh, there w a s so many. F- yeah. And it, it feels like there's、uh, still something in the, in the neck between the shoulders area. Yeah. I always see that as, a, as an, an, an input point. Yeah. And it feels like. It needs to be a bit clarification or, or widening of that point.、Um, Good idea. Yeah. yeah. I love that sequence because it also brought forward some memories from some previous healings I've had on people. It was the same exact picture.、Uh, we have energies in this area that when they flow freely and you can see them、uh, with a broader sight, they actually look like energy winds. And from my experience with doing healing, they have a lot to do with our psyche, our ability to have a strong and balanced psyche, to take care of ourselves and to stay strong、mm-hmm. in a collective field. It's like those energy they constantly seek out as balance points. Yeah. yeah. And I felt those were really, really highlighted within t h a s energy. So I also think,、uh, not or feel that not only, as you said, there is an opening point because when I do channeling,、uh, the energy comes in here,、yeah. uh, flow through. Yeah.、Uh, not only does it have to do with the opening, but also because an opening can always be kind of overwhelming. Yeah. Because it opens a new reality, you get in touch with a lot of feeling, a lot of your feelings that you've held back, you can no longer hold back. Yeah. Yeah. So this kind of helps stability and a balance. 
within the greater field that we actually are entering as we are becoming activated more and more. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I feel I want to bring in the water dragon because it has a huge uh, connection or it I use it a lot when it comes to bridging um, our higher energy fields and the planet so that we can get that very aligned. Uh, let's see. That was a lot of energy brought through in a short time. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Let's take a few minutes to, to integrate and just talk a little bit. Uh, so far, we have actually working intensively with energy to sustain opening into change. When you are going to change things in your life and you know that there's something in the truth system that is dissolving and you coming in. What do you do? How do you how do you do it? Like a personal? Um, I clear first the old the old things. Mm. Make space for the new things. Yeah. And that's uh, and for me it felt like this was the energy work as well. It's clearing up, making space, opening the tubes or how you can call them the, the entrances. Mm. So that the new information can get in and yeah. uh, so well talking now we are clearing uh, and, and checking whether everything is being done right 
Yeah. Not right. That's not a good expression for it, but if, yeah. if everything worked out uh, yeah. in, the, in, the, in the right way. Then, yeah. Uh, and from there on, probably we'll, we'll do some other clearing and, uh, and, 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 and uh, getting more information in or more, uh, more light in. Mm. So that's, that's, that's how, uh, for me, in the, in the human life, it's the same. We are first. Uh, if, for instance, if I want a new couch, I first have to get this out, yeah. and then the new one can come in. Um, because yeah. otherwise, I'm stuck with two, and then it's not happening. And uh, <laughs> so, for me, it's, it's, it feels like that. Does that resonate with you? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I do. I have one thing that I have learned from my higher self, which is my main guide or guidance in your guidance system. Uh, and that is to, every time I have a reaction to anything, and even sometimes when I don't, she have repeatedly said to me, in this situation, check out what you are experiencing right now, the way your system is translating, what is taking place, is this the highest truth? Mm -hmm. Or is it the truth at all? Is it just an old fashioned response that you have? What is really taking place here? You stretch the picture, make it bigger. Yeah. Take a step back, give yourself some time before you decide to accept this as your reality, that's your true reality. And I have learned so much from doing that. A cross point, I not always manage to, um, sometimes I can, you can have, you know, automatic reactions where you kind of react immediately. Yeah. But, but the main thing uh, is that if I step out and see, okay, is there another way to see this? Mm -hmm. If I take my emotion away, how does the picture then look? Yeah. Yeah. And that's been very, very useful because I've seen how much automatic responses we have and how things can change. Mm -hmm. If I allow myself to see, well, maybe, maybe I wasn't that right as I thought anyway, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. And I also think there are, even for yourself, there are many more truths or more, more realities. So uh, yeah. there's not one. So step yeah. out of the thought, and maybe this helps today, step out of the thinking of that there's only one real reality. There are many, many. And, are many. and uh, every time you're feeling you got stuck, or it feels like it's the, 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 that's not a reality which doesn't resonate, mm. it, and it's an invitation to just open your yeah. space. Yeah. And I feel that with everything that is going on in the world, I'm kind of... Of, okay, that my higher self said this is the topic, uh, because is there any if there's anything we as a collective and as individuals really need to do right now, where at the stage where our world is, is to really make those changes be and the make changes. them solid. Yeah, be the changes and make them so solid within that we can radiate out that choice that. That change and then and that, that new, and yeah. new reality. Yeah, I, I completely yeah. agree to that. And mm. uh, so I really am happy with this topic for today because uh, so many people are, are are desperately driving into the old thinking patterns. Yeah. And, and even with all this nonsense getting in in in, in, in policies and, and regulations mm. and and, and uh, rules and, mm. and but even then they're still like stuck into it and yeah. uh, definitely hope that this frequencies will help them to make a, a, a new decision or a new choice or whatever maybe mm. the same one as, as the old one which is perfect but at least yeah. have, a, have an open view to, <laughs> towards what they're, what's happening and uh, yeah. so I, I got some information for that as well Mm -hmm. more, it's, it's more like in the outer field of everybody's uh, energy field and it's more uh, opening there for new new ideas, new beliefs, possibilities, anything mm -hmm. new. 
I really would call that so softening up the edges because it, it was both personal and collective. But I immediately saw the spiral that came down, went through my entire body into the, to the ground. And it was like spinning softly and nicely and kind of uh, on its spin, the outer edge kind of softened up and cleared belief systems as debris hanging around in our energy fields. Mm -hmm. And exactly the same happened in the collective. It went straight into the collective as a huge spiral and, and started to work uh, in order to make another option available, yeah. another belief system available. And in ordering for, order for that to happen, there have to be a softening up that is Oh, the, 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 the thickest of density kind of have to be softened up so that it can shine through. Yeah. Really start having an impact. And I, I really felt that energy became very, very solidly anchored mm. uh, 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 in this. Uh, we got the white dragon. Mm. They probably is going to, they are usually uh, anchoring in a lot of energy and uh, let me see, having to do with the third eye also. <clears throat> Marayanaui, Marawanaui. Marijuana, marijuana, I'm yawning too. Most of the time, most of the time, yeah. I, I could even see the white dragon, like, yeah. uh, um, 
just making wave is wave is a wave with wings, and then yeah. see the energy moving in like pulses of energy. It does. It also went straight into the third eye, kind of blowing its energy through to kind of clear and, and sustain us in bringing in and grounding uh, these new ways of experiencing life that can be as a result of what you did uh, with, with clearing and grounding. So they're kind of taking opportunity to, when something is clear, they immediately dive in to make, to yeah. see it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that uh, the way that's... Uh, mm. Ah, yes. <laughs> there is, there's still something there. Yeah. There's still something which um, my clear thinking was telling me that it needs to be adjusted. It's not straight, mm -hmm. but adjusted. Mm -hmm. And um, it's connected to the higher heart on the, on the backside. Mm -hmm. So it's past higher heart. A shiny nyo nyo ni nyo ya nyo nyo ya ya nyo ya nyo wo i o i ni ya ya o i o i ya nyo ya o. Uh, there was a lot of uh, codes coming in and a lot of uh, uh, openings to really and truly bring our true self forward in a very, very balanced way. It's like there is uh, available for us so much uh, information but not information in the way we are used to receiving information so i felt that this was kind of also preparing uh, the way we express and the way we feel in order to receive and actually function on that level again it's like we are meant to uh, we are so used to we read something and we hear something and that's information and we kind of try to remember what we have been learning and stuff like that. But there's another type of information that I felt kind of was open up for. And it was really, you know, the bones here, it's called the color yeah. bones. Yeah. yeah. It was really, really uh, connected to those uh, somehow and the thymus because it felt uh, the energy went immediately through those areas and starting to adjust and work. Um, so obviously this is a very, very higher, um, I have to see. Mm -hmm. It almost felt like a dissension. It was uh, uh, opening a way for uh, like a dissension happened. Because when I, I look in, I see that this like something have mm -hmm. descended. Uh, but that was part one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I'm very curious about part two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, because I still feel there's something there. Yeah. It's not completely done yet because I had to feel it. So I had to realize that it's a yeah. layer. Yeah. Um, let me see. 
when you are naya umainum But again, I felt like a huge clearing, an opening taking place that actually uh, made me feel like a new type of warrior came online within. But it's not a muscle warrior, no. It's one, when you meet a person that is so true, so real and so honest, then that there is nothing, absolutely nothing ever held back. Mm -hmm. That's when you truly meet a true warrior because nothing can ever be compromised. Yeah. There is full integrity and that is the biggest strength we can ever achieve. And I felt like that was the energy that was being cleared for and, and uh, actually brought down integrated it was an amazing feeling <laughs> i mean uh yeah absolutely oh, wow hmm. i got the copper dragon just to compliment a little bit here because he is the one who is the Overseer of all knowledge, uh, just to see. しよこどのめにやかたかやこのめねえどいけけてみにあたあかやこことしやなかたおよことにみにきやこどのねしかたあこよこことのめかとしゃきよこどのめにたけよこどのめにとかやかとめにたしよこといやきやかしゃいめ
there were some interesting pieces I was shown when they brought in this energy and they also went a bit galactic to uh, widen uh, and make available more of those energy. And that is that for a long time, we have kind of tried to reconnect to the field, to the bigger field. You yeah. know? And it's like now we have reached a level where we are starting to get used to more and more becoming, being the field without having to connect in and out and, and reconnect and all this stuff, but to live in a state of being where you are the field is very, very different. Yeah. And there right, also comes the, what we have talked about, being the knowledge. And also really, really learning to trust the feelings within because they are the biggest guidelines we have for receiving uh, that information. Yeah. You know, but this was an amazing uh, energy that has been brought through today. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And... Uh... What you said in the, in the in the end is like, for me it feels like or it resonates like it's the adjustment of the compass. Yeah. So let's put some soft softness in adjustment of the cosmic yeah. compass. So na ya nyu kuni na ya ya ush nyu ma ya na u ma na. Oh, na ya yi na yi o ma na yi o shu yon no ma ni no wa ni o ma ni o ma na na yi o ma ma ya na ya ni o ma o ma ni ya 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 o na ni o shu ni ya na ya po ni ya na yi o ma na ya na ya na o ya na ya ya po. Mm, that was absolutely beautiful. It made it all more smooth and soft and uh, more aligned. Yeah. For those. Yeah, the galactic energies can be quite difficult to relate to sometimes because they are so, they're so huge. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, I was also, besides being completely tucked into love and grace, <laughs> I was also told that uh, what has taken place today in this session with us yeah. is something that anyone can use anytime they are struggling with changes taking place in their lives, no matter what level the changes takes place on, no matter what the changes are. Because these energies are kind of out of time, multi-layered, and there is something within them for anything. So this this session is actually uh, extremely out as we call it wide. It, it uh, can be used in a lot of situations, actually, yeah. almost like unlimited. Yeah, which is quite, quite normal because we start we started with, with rewriting the history. Yeah. And then we started talking about that that the changes need. Yeah. So in any kind of changes you can use this. So it's quite it sounds logical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it <does. laughs> yeah. It's yeah, it, 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 for me it does. So let's make uh this, this will be a guide for changing. Okay. Is it a guide yeah. or is it a, is it an aid? 
Ja, waar is het? Hmm. I think it's, it's kind of like it sustains cells in facilitating changes. Uh, that if somebody needs some help with change. Yeah, if you struggle with any kind of change, yeah. this is it. This is it. Yeah. It will be a long title, so I have to find a, 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 a solution to that. Uh, so, very interesting, Inger. Powerful. Very. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it always starts off with one thing, and suddenly, before you know, an hour is gone, and you cover the uh, huge uh, yeah. area within that. But also, this um, this theme of, of changes and allow yourself to make changes, and not only allow yourself, but to manage to break through all the levels in our mental field and on all, all levels of our existence to be capable of opening and receive truth without any, or new information, without any kind of resistance. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's important. Don't resist, just it is try to find the flow and, 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 yeah. and understand it's just emotions and experiences so that you can always let them go into the earth. Yeah, yes we can. And even what we have believed to be our true history. Yeah, that's not true history. <laughs> Yeah. I see with myself every time something changes within, I have to rewrite my own story because then it doesn't look yeah. like Inger believed it was. <laughs> so, so much for that one. <laughs> I stopped rewriting history because it's, it's there, there's no there's no rewriting. It's 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 constant. It's a constant change. It's like uh, yeah. uh, I call it a perpetuum immobile, something like that. The always yeah, morphing. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I said, this is how the truth looks from this standpoint, and when I'm on that, yeah. we okay, then, oh, from here it looks like this, you know. Completely yeah. different, and, um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that, and that's what I think the Buddhas, Buddhists always try to tell us, that from every yeah. angle there's a new truth, so if you stand yeah. above it, then you can maybe yeah. understand all angles. Yeah. And that's how I relate to this. Mm. If anybody watched this, you can do two things or three things or four things, but any one of the things is you can contact Inger via Facebook. You can contact me via Facebook. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, what we do love is comments. So yeah. if you have if, if you have any ideas or thoughts with this session, uh, please let us know because we like to have mm -hmm. feedback and we like to know if somebody watches. Yeah, <laughs> we, we just yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, and so uh, and and we also, mo most often we say re-listen to this session, but yes. this time definitely re-listen to the session because this will has, has multiple layers and and and, I've, and I think it would be wise to at least do it two or three times minimum. That's how it feels for me at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, especially the uh, that that those those more grounding uh, yeah. uh, frequencies. They will they will help. Um, anything more for you to say, Inger? For mm, only that uh, there is within this also some energies that will put you into or make you sustain you in coming into contact with deep feelings, deep hidden emotions. So cry it out, speak it out, whatever you need, but don't, don't, don't hold it back. Yeah, that's whatever very important. Allow it to flow. Yeah, it's time for us to get to really know each other. And we do that by being open, flowing beings, by daring to be who we are. Yeah. I believe in this. Yeah. And one extra um, thing to mention is that we do heal people together. So yeah. if anybody's interested in that, we have some experiences. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and that's also related to what you said yeah. about uh, don't hold your emotions. Yeah. These frequencies will move the emotions, will let set them free in your system. So, and if you try to hold them, then yeah. you will find some struggle. And if you want yeah. some help in that, 
yeah. we can do that. We we like to do that. Um, yeah, we love out. working together. So yeah, the healing session this is an amazing tool. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I'm mostly can say that if you do a healing session with the two of us, there's no way out. There is no escape. <laughs> there's no way out. There is no escape. There's, there's no escape. You just get where you come from, and that and that if that resonates to you, please yeah. contact us. And yeah. uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we we did we did. So we did. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much. Till next time. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye.